Hello and welcome back to a brand new video. I'm always looking out for great strikers, but people always recommend the same ones like Mbappe, Benyedder. I want to find the best bronze striker in the game. Each episode I'm going to put uh, two strikers in the arena that they can fight it off. I'll play a game of foot champs or division rivals with both of them. They get a rating after the game. Based on that rating, we have a winner. And I'm going to do it for I don't know how many episodes and then maybe I'll build an whole bronze team. We're also going to find center backs and, and wingers. And then I'm going to play foot champs with that bronze team, which is going to be awful. But let's dive into the first team. And the first striker we are going to use is Rodriguez. No, not James Rodriguez, but he's also Colombian. You know how rare it is for a bronze player to have four star skills and four star weak foot? Well, this guy has it. Uh, his stats are overall not that bad. Only bad physical stats and bad passing stats, but I mean, like I care. I also made a rule for myself is that I won't use any pace based uh, chemistry styles on my players just to make it fair and all the teams will be 80 rated. They will change but they will be 80 rated. So let's go uh, let's dive straight into the first game with uh, this team. And the opponent I'm going to play with Rodriguez is this team pretty standard team but his attack is really really dangerous so that's going to be difficult. But uh, I was playing good football, this team was really fun to play with, especially this Diaz, he was really quick, good dribbler too. Gives the ball to Rodriguez, and after 15 minutes he already has a goal. So you're thinking, well, he is the best uh, bronze striker. But of course, uh, game still long on, he ma makes a complete fool of me with Gelson Martins, great dribbling from him, can't really say anything about it, just great football from him. But I have a lot of pace, not a lot of skill up front, but a lot of pace. So here Diaz gets the ball, probably the best player in this team, with exception of Thomas Rodriguez, of course. 2-1, you think, well, we're going to go into the half with a lead, but then I completely make a mistake by uh, running in front with my left back, which leaves everything wide open in the back. One pass, and that's a goal. That's just bad for me I don't know why I do it second half pretty much the same story Diaz just doing everything here stupid fall from him but I can see FIFA gives penalties a bit too easy of course I want to give Rodriguez a penalty but I can't select him he just skips the name I don't know why but after a second try I can actually get him to take the penalty of course I'm already a bit off and then he misses and he's not quick enough for the rebound so Bad points for him. Quincy Promes sees James Rodriguez making a run on that left foot. He's deadly. He's a great card. Too bad of his uh, pace, but that's not really a, no, that bad. Uh, fall for me. Mistake for me in the in, in building up, but okay. Uh, a bit later in the game, we get a chance with Rodriguez. And that ball is actually heading for liftoff. Going straight to the moon. Uh... Still, we can win this game. Neres, who I subbed on, same as Quincy Promes. Those two I will sub on every game. Quick football, easy football. And James finds Diaz, makes it 4-3. I'm actually going to win this game, but Diaz still has one uh, trick to show us. Gives the ball to Balanta. Balanta finds Promes, and that's 5-3. Easy win. Game ends, of course, in 5-3. Let's see uh, the score that FIFA gave Rodriguez. That's a 7.8. He scored a goal and that was it. And now let's see who the second striker is. The second striker that I'm going to use is English, which obviously makes him easier to link. He's Kieran Eggard. Uh, really great pace. High, high work rates. I don't like it, but really great pace and physical stats. Shooting art is okay, but I boost that with a chemistry style. Put him in this team and let's see if he can uh, take home the title of best striker of this episode. The game with Eggard is going to be a lot more difficult because my opponent's using a pretty good Premier League team with a dangerous strike force. But I was dominating this game, created a lot of chances and uh, the first corner he gets, he heads the ball in. I think, well, okay, that can happen. But how many times have you can see the two corners in a row from the same team? I mean, I don't even, I think I... I don't think I even scored like two corners in the same game. I try to come back. Eggard sees Donny van de Beek making a run. He has a great shot for a center midfielder. 
So 1-2 you can... I'm still in this game. But he takes me right out of it with this shot with Salah. It's a bit bullshit. A volley with his right foot, of course. Uh, damn bad defending from Thiago Silva. He isn't quick enough to keep up with Calvert-Lewin. Easy chip for him. 1-4 in the 80... Uh, in the 80th minute, game over. I just tried to score one more goal here with Eggard. Ugly shot, but the ball flies in, so why not? I'll take it. And then the game ends 2-4. Of course it does. I'm not going to do a comeback in, what, one minute? But Eggard actually wins the episode by scoring a 8.6. In the next episode, I'm going to try to find the left winger. If you like this concept, hit a like. Uh, subscribe if you're new, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.